Hello everyone, welcome back to Salasta, Crown of the Magister. Last time we took a strange walk through a building, had a slight confrontation with three four spirits, four spirits, not three, and then we have found ourselves in combat with a green dragon that rolled higher than us in initiative and really took a bite out of Gothic and Pastel. So now we have to see just what can we do about this? Here's my first question. Do we know anything about this creature? Can we get to our bestiary? Uh, it's going to be under J for journal, isn't it? Green dragons. Do we know anything about a green dragon? Obviously not. Okay. What's the closest thing to a green dragon we know? I'm just looking for any inclination of what we might be facing. Tiger drakes? Don't know anything about them. No wormlings? No. Alright, well, this is going to be a hoot. We've used our big spells with go with Kite because we didn't really think a fight was coming necessarily. Amazingly, the dragon itself is so big it counts as half cover for other things behind it. So what we're going to do is we are going to dash and put ourselves here. As much as we're at risk of breath attacks, I'm also worried that if Gothic doesn't have some defense, we're going to have bigger problems. Uh, also, hey Gothic, have some more AC. Legendary action. We take 12 bludgeoning damage apiece and are knocked down. That's really bad. Uh, we have disadvantage because we are frightened, which is also horrible. Do we have any kind of spell that would benefit us for getting rid of negative effects? I don't think so. Oh, if we could banish a dragon, could you imagine? But I think... Maybe a flame strike? What does this do? 4d6 fire damage plus 4d6 radiant damage, save for half. I mean, why not, right? And of course, it has legendary resistance. There's a tail attack against a prone target at advantage. That's just horrible too. Now we are going to be able to get sneak attack. Which is something. Oh, and a crit on a sneak attack. That is huge. If we stand here... Can we cunning action hide? So even if some of us are knocked unconscious in the pursuing fight, we can theoretically um, get sneak attack, which is really good. Now, we could cone of cold. That would be 12, uh, sorry, 8d8 cold damage, save for half. Or we could blight, which is... 8d8 necrotic damage save for half. Or we could conjure a bunch of elementals and try and make a distraction, but I just don't see that being that helpful in this situation. So let's go for a blight and just see how this shakes out. Makes the save, but still takes 18 damage. We definitely should have thought about doing Arcane Fury first. 
You overcharge your mana and become restrained until the end of your turn. However, when you cast an attack spell, your damage dice are always above average. In return, you make a con save throwing DC 14, take 2d6 psychic damage if you fail. We may well do that next turn. So let's do this this turn. And hope that we don't die in the interim. Holy cow. How many dice was that? What? What just happened? That's so many dice. Okay, well, now we have problems. Obviously, faith isn't hidden anymore. That's one thing. We could attempt divine intervention. Man, I should be using more of this stuff all the time. Um, we don't have mass cure wounds. So, let's go to Kite and cast Spell, Cure Wounds at 4th level. Awful rolls, just awful. Faith. I honestly don't know what we should do here. So I guess we just stab it and hope. Did it try to recharge the poison breath afterwards? Uh, green Dragon, Blight, Gothic, Arcane Fury. Green Dragon activates poison breath power. We don't know. So I'm actually going to have Faith cast Blur on herself. And if we move out of the way, if we move out of its place that it can strike from, we will take an opportunity attack. But as long as we stay within two tiles of it. We never leave its area of effect, so we'll put ourselves outside of the cone for Poison Breath. Legendary action. Gothic rolls a save, then it's back to the Green Dragon. That's Blur doing its work, making disadvantage on attacks. Now where are you going? Oh! Right, Kite is now stood up. It's barely worth healing ourselves. Because we're only going to take another attack in a second, aren't we? So do we just keep attacking and hope that we can do 120 damage in like a few orbits of turn? I guess instead of that, oh, we can't, we spent half our movement to get up so we can't even reach Gothic. So we can't give him health points. Man, okay, so we're going to come to here and just attack. Big smites. 
Take that. There's 30 more damage. That's something. Big smites. Down to 59. Legendary action. We fail. Deck saves. Take damage. Pastel. Kite is also down. So we could Healing Word try and get Gothic up. Hope something like Cone of Cold would do incredible work for us. Or we just cast Inflict Wounds at 4th level and hope to finish this faster. Why do we have... Are we still afraid of this thing? Yes. Ah, oh, man. Alright, well if we're afraid, I'd rather cast something that's going to induce a save. 20 Radiant Damage, Black Tentacles, Banish. M could give us like 10 turns to fix all our problems for a while. Used its Legendary Resistance and changed the outcome of the spell. You horrible creature. And Pastor is dying. Then there was Faith. 59 damage. Huh? Well, our poison arrows aren't going to help us anything here. Wait till the next one. So we somehow need to do like five of those. I will take cover, even though it's probably not going to mean very much to us. If one of them could make a crit on their saving throw and come back with a hit point, that would be incredible. Blur is just doing incredible work. Half that. We have 24 HP left. I'd really like to take a turn now. Thank you ever so much. Um, do we have anything in our inventory that's going to change the tides here? Potion of Giant Strength is not it. Potion of Heroism. 10 temporary hit points. Blessed. It's not terrible. Grants blessed 1d4 to attacks, 1d4 to saving throws. Potion of Speed. Grants haste. Speed is doubled, plus 2 AC. Dex saves have advantage. Able to make an additional attack per turn. Yeah, we're doing that. Drink. So that counted as an action, but we've given ourselves a second main attack action. However, we cannot equip our short sword right now, so we're being forced into making a ranged attack at disadvantage, but I'm still going to do it. Damn. And let's just disengage and just put ourselves somewhere that they have to think about moving, I guess. And hope we just get, like, one or two more turns. Gothic's on two hit... two success failures apiece. We get pushed over again. 
They continue to miss. They continue to miss. They continue to miss. Kite is on two successes. It gets a legendary action. Misses. Pastor is on two failures. Legendary action. Misses. Faith's turn. Two main attack actions. And we can switch to our short sword. More coming your way. There's ten piercing damage. There's ten more. They have 27 HP. Blur is doing incredible work. Shield. Death saves all round. Legendary reactions. More attack rolls at disadvantage doing huge work for us. Gothic is stable. That's good. Shield runs out, but that's to be expected as a reaction. Uh, you'll die anyway. We miss on an 18. There's 13 more damage. They're down to 14 HP. We just need to survive one more orbit and have two good attacks. Uh, have this. We're down to 17 HP. And Faith is down. God damn. I should have taken the damage and then had shield available for the next hit or something. All right, well, for the second time in fairly quick succession, we're going to have to roll this back and have another go at that because, oh boy, that was big. But hey, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.